Portrait Artist of the Year. This is the best and the worst of what we've seen so far from seasons two through now six. So let's get started. And if you would consider it, please th give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be very much appreciated. All right, here's one of the best, and this was passed over. I don't remember the names of all these models. Either either actors or actresses or singers, songwriters. Anyway, very, very famous, internationally known people. Here's a painting that was passed up. It got pretty far in its episode, but was um, voted against because it, they actually said it was too good. I made a separate video about that because this painting has a special place in my heart. It's just absolutely beautiful and is done in a very traditional European kind of style that you have to study and, uh, and, and spend a lot of time learning how to do. But they did not feel like this had a modern voice. Now the next one I would consider one of the worst or not the best. Well, it's, it's this one, and not, I'm not going to show the paintings. The paintings that they did were quite good, but I felt it was such a disadvantage if you do the, the card of having to paint this artist. I mean, this, yeah, actually this person is an artist. The way that they show their art is in their, in what they wear. They are a performance artist. And so that leaves you at a real disadvantage. There's so much to consider here. Uh, you know, in terms of the drapery and the mask and the metallics and all of that. I just felt like that was, that was a really tough go. All right, now back, back to the best. This is Sir Derek Jacoby, who was an actor. And the painting that was passed over in this case is this one, completely passed over. And I just think it's beautiful. It's got, it's angelic. Um, the neutrals behind enhance the warm, uh, choices that were made in terms of color in front. It's just, it looks like a John Singer Sargent painting to me. It, it, it's using that kind of palette, especially when he would paint those very wealthy women. <laughs> but it's, it's just beautiful and has, has remained memorable to me. I, I just love it. Uh, this is the next uh, actress. I've followed her career for a long time. I want to say Shirley Henderson, but oh gosh, I might have her confused with someone else. Uh, this was the drawing that was done of her with pastel. I just think it's just absolutely, absolutely beautiful, absolutely breathtaking. It checks all the boxes for me in terms of color choices and and um, and also it resembles her and and allows you to see a little bit of what her personality might be, kind of a window into the soul. So I I really enjoy that. So just as a painting, I just think this is is memorable. Now not the best for me is the next one. I want you to see who the model is. I don't remember his name. But what's important about what's coming up is that, uh, not that I disagree with this type of painting, it's just that in the past, when they've used kind of a, sort of a cartoony kind of way to express the figure, the judges have just dumped on it every single time. And in this case, I thought that's what would happen. But not only didn't it happen, but he chose this as the painting he wanted to take home, and it also won the episode. But I, I have, it's not, for me, it's not the best. That's all I'll say about it. But it is a different way of looking at the, the figure and representing someone. Now, the best, oh gosh, this next one. I love this next one. I can't get the next one out of my mind at all. I don't remember the name of this actress. She's fantastic. I've seen her play a best friend, and then she looks almost like unattractive in a way. And then when she's a leading lady and glammed up, oh my gosh, she just is a real chameleon. But I love this painting. It was completely ignored. It looks like there's a veil or a scrim in front of her. Everything is so soft. Oh gosh, I, I just, I love this painting. It also has a lot of minimalism in it. Nothing was added that didn't need to be added. Nothing was taken away that didn't need to be taken in. You know, this painting could have been really ruined if, if you put in, for example, eyelashes. I, it, it's such an impressionistic take, and I, I, I adore it. That's all I can say about it, and it stuck with me as one of the best. Not the best? Well, um, I don't remember this sitter. I know that he's a British actor. And um, so if you're in the UK, you're probably screaming at the screen and saying, how can you not know who this is? Because I know he's very famous and likable there. But um, Mickey but I can't uh, is the first name, but I can't remember the second name. Um, 
he was a, he was a good sitter, I thought. Well, we don't know if the sitters are moving around a lot at all, but it appeared to be that he was he was pretty still. But this is the painting of him, and I have so many problems with this painting. You know, the colors are um, washed out and chalky. Look at the fingers. There's there's no roundness in those fingers. They're just squares or blocks, and it doesn't look like him at all. This just you know not. Not, it's a pretty weak effort, and as you can probably tell, it went quite far in its episode, but not my favorite. Now, the best. Now, one of the things that I like about this one is that I just think that this painter is a, um, I mean, this, this sitter was just really compelling. How could you not want to sit down and paint with those all that pattern going on and this open, expressive face and all that? Just sometimes you're compelled. You think, oh, that's something I want to paint. So I would have been super happy to paint him. And I think this was a beautiful job. It It's fresh. It uh, has a resemblance to him. It's very painterly and has both brightness as well as um, having some uh, neutral colors in there as well. This one I added because I can't get it out of my mind. It's of the same sitter and they completely ignored this, but I can't explain why, but I just, I love this painting. It's like a quiet poem. Um, probably the color choices. I don't know. Something about it. Sometimes art doesn't make sense, and it just hits you where where you where you feel all the feels. And that painting made me feel all the feels. This is Harriet Walter, and this is a, a, a British actress. And this is the drawing that was done of her, completely passed over. She didn't choose this as the one she wanted to take home either. Uh, I think this was in the most recent episode that I just recapped um, in episode six, season, yeah, see, ep <laughs> season six, episode three. Woo, so many of them, it's hard to keep track. But that's a beautiful job. It's not just a great drawing, but it's done with colored pencils, so they had to consider color as well. But like I said, passed over, ignored, but I loved it. Not the best. This one, there's some controversy in the comments about this one. Um, this is an American singer. And um, I really, really, really did not like this painting of her. Uh, it did reach the finals of its episode. But what I sort of disagreed with is, is um, you know, her on the left you see the entry that she did to get in the program, which is a self-portrait. And then the one on the right is the one that she did today. And clearly she is not that interested in painting faces. This is Portrait Artist of the Year. I think you have to be interested in painting faces. The other thing I don't like is how disproportionate the body is to the head. I know that was done on purpose in this in this case. So it's not that the person doesn't have the skills. It's a choice. And just stylistically, I, I disagree with the choice. Here is the next model. Again, this one, I, I just know I would have been wanting to paint this. It almost like, man, this paints itself, but not really. But uh, this was completely passed over, and it does have something that I see a lot of oil painters do that I really love, which is when they uh, prime the canvas with red underneath. Sometimes they prime it with a blue as well, and then let it peek through when they're uh, putting their paint on top and creating their forms. I just love that device. I think it's just beautiful. Now the next one is Leslie Mann, and the painting that was done of her, which was ignored <laughs> for the most part, it's a, it's a little strange, uh, simply because of the background. It sort of competes with her face, but I love it. It's very memorable. It I actually think it enhances the whole piece. But that that's a device that the designer, uh, you know, the painter as a designer came up with. I, I think it was clever, and I think it was effective, especially because it has that white, which is not actually white, which is important, which kind of grounds her. So it was just nicely done. Uh, the next one, I know that this model would have been tough to, to paint because um, I do watch the episodes with the sound off, but he's a comedian, and he was not very still, so it would have been really hard to, to paint him. And that's, you know, you're either lucky or not lucky when it comes to your sitter and how fidgety they might be. But I thought this was um, really well done, again, passed over, but um, absolutely nailed the likeness to him. Now, this one... <laughs> This one was controversial because um, this particular painter, uh, this is not the painter, this is the sitter, but the actual painter was completely passed over in his episode. I thought 
No, no, no. You, you've got to be kidding me. You don't even make it to the finals of your episode? Completely ignored, um, which I, I don't know if it was season three or four. I don't remember. But at the very end of the program, when we got to the semifinals, inexplicably, they brought him back. And they said that they had made a mistake and they, in passing him over. And so I was thrilled to see that. But at the time, the injustice of it really stuck with me. So, so far for me, those are the best and the worst of um, seasons three through, well, I'm doing six now. And hooray for all the artists. Remember to keep the whites your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. And please join my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.